much music slots yet. I guess you should get that as well. You're already building an opera house. Get all the culture. And yeah, maybe these science towns that don't build banks go for cultured things instead. Caravansary. I uh, don't really need that that much. Culture is the name of the game. Okay, now the vote. Um, hmm. Yeah, Ramses will probably vote for this. Um, which is good. Plus three culture per world wonder. I have a lot of world wonders as well, thanks to my dance. Well, France is the capital at least. And I don't care about Eastern Orthodoxy though. I think. Uh, he hates us as well because he is Islam. So he'll probably vote against that. I doubt this will pass. All the other ships which don't have it either. Nebuchadnezzar has its own religion. Uh, Montezuma has its own religion. Pakal has its own religion. And. Yeah. Napoleon doesn't. And Askia, the, uh, Askia actually also has its own religion. Yeah, this will never pass. But uh, let's give a few extra votes towards cultural heritage sites. For more cultures from wonders. That should boost us a lot of culture. You know what? Let's give one no towards world. Uh, this world religion to be safe. Because Egypt has enough votes to pass this on its own. Okay. Let's see how the World Congress will think about this. Also, hey, an Egyptian settler. What the hell are you doing here? Probably settling like somewhere near here. Well, that's not my problem. Could build more cities here, but don't really need it. Um. Okay, next turn. Let's see if it passes. Now uh, turns are taking long again. Oh well. Alexander also in the industrial era, huh? Okay. So she still uh, still have some tax. So where are you going, missionary? As long as you're not spraying towards my countries. Let's see. Uh, cultural health sites fails? No. Uh, okay, build that opera house. Cultural heritage site was not passed. Eight from from Egypt, two from Portugal. Huh, well the, all, all the other ships voted no for it. That's six from the bigger ones, and... Uh, that's ten. It's ten v ten. <laughs> so it just barely didn't pass, so I should have put in that other vote into it. And uh, let's see, the other world religion that was passed? Wow. Okay. Yeah, because Mongolia voted for it because they have it as well. And all the other ships voted against it, but... <laughs> the real powerhouse, Egypt, put most of its votes into the cultural her heritage sites. Huh. Amazing. How the hell did that pass? Like, there, I think there's more cities with Islam in the world. Uh... Uh, this won't sort properly. <gasps> Why doesn't it sort properly? That's bad. Um, let's see. That's yeah. 
Islam is in 26 cities, Eastern Orthodoxy is in 20 cities. And my Armok cities. Armokism is in only 10 cities. Uh, weird. Okay. Weird. Wow. Yawn. Um. How's Mombasa doing? Plus 18 pressure. And uh, Malacca actually got Armokism now. Good. Now. Yeah, these all have fucking Eastern Orthodoxy. Brussels even has Islam. Uh, Yule. Now uh, you have plus 18 pressure. Will take a while, a couple of turns, but uh, it will swap towards uh, Armokism one day. Oh, I actually got Hussar, probably from Hanoi. <laughs> because they were saying they got the tech to build Hussars, which are, I think, a unit from Poland? I've never seen them before. They have heavy charge. Yeah, this is Poland, which can force an enemy to retreat. Which could be useful in wars. It's not something you, you see any day. Um, let's keep it somewhere. Uh, fighting an open terrain. Yeah, you're an open terrain kind of guy. Uh, and you sit in a city, sure. And yeah, they, they look pretty nice. Can I like, um, yeah, right click it. T heavy mounted unit, 28 damage. It's an uh, Lancer upgrade. And I could push him, on, put him, push him back. Okay, that's that turn. So, that's what the wings are for? Um, how about some incense? Since you have it. Twenty happiness. Uh, you want to pay for this? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're still guarded, so you won't pay more for that. Um. I should take a look at deals because I think I have more spices. They could sell. Yeah, I also have an extra die and a gem. Lots of things to sell. Huh, even gems. Of course I'm also I'm getting one of the gems via Vittoria. Also, oof. That's a difficult choice. Um both are here. Both are amazing. I think yeah, industrialization will give me more, give me factories, give me more, more production. Yeah, also Big Ben, but I don't, I'm not doing commerce. Still a very good steel, very worth it. Um, how is that spy doing? Forty-two turns until the next tax steel, huh? Um, where are the art Aztecs? Yeah, let's. Only one star stealing potential. And he has a constabulatory there. Maybe there is another city in his country, like Kyoto, which has more potential. Let's try that. Um, let's try Kyoto. Maybe there's more stars there. So we will be able to steal better. What I kinda need to find is his science cities. Because you can steal better in cities which have science. Uh, Kyoto is just one of the biggest ones. Uh, one of these towns would be nice if they had a university and trading post, but they don't. That Lolko also might be a good science town. Don't seem to have mountains though. Texcoco does. Well, let's see how the star. Rating is in Kyoto first. 
Um, and a deal with Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar is ended. Okay. Deals. First our buddy. You don't want a thing. Okay. Then... Nebuchadnezzar. Actually, it would be smarter if I used the Diplomacy Overview. Um, and your relations. King Scott has sold. Um, Montezuma has coal. I should look if I have coal, by the way. Montezuma has truffles. I think my people want truffles. Let's, let's check that. That's smart to do. Okay, what do I need for We Love the King Boat? This is also, there's yet another town here. Let's see. Citrus, wine, truffles, silk, furs, uh, everything basically. Truffles in Porto, and truff Porto is the more important of the ones. So let's get, try and get those travels from Montezuma. Uh, for marbles? Nice. Can I also get your citrus? For spices. Nice, that's two Wheel of the King bonuses. Um, that's probably all I have resources wise. No, I should have one more gem. One more die. Okay. Um. No one has something extra. No. Well then, let's deal with uh, Babylon. See if he wants to buy a thing. Oh, I don't have extra gems, and I don't. Oh, he doesn't have dies. Uh, Askia, I don't care much about you, but you don't also have any cash. Um, Parkal has no cash. Alexander then. <sighs> Doesn't want the thing. Napoleon. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> want to buy some of your old ivory for four gold per turn? <laughs> for three gold per turn then. No? Two gold per turn. Uh, it's money and I can't use that of them anyway, otherwise. <laughs> I stole them from uh, him last time. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe I should have saved Ivory for this dude. Um, hmm. Let's give him gems instead because I might be getting extra gems. Thirty-one happiness. Yeah, I wonder if the Victorias count for extra resources. Once I build a Victoria in uh, Vatican City. Oh yeah. Will I get even more gems to trade? I, I can't trade the resources I got from um, Vatican City. However, I have one gems in my own country, and then I'll be able to trade them without ever getting any happiness loss. So, um, I think that should work. Uh, you want marble again? Sure, dude, sure. How's our research doing? Oh, two turns until scientific theory. Which will boost our science even more. <sighs> Tebes has 28 tourism already. And, uh... Where am I? Am I not even on the list? Seriously? None of my cities have tourism? Wow. Uh, no, I don't want war. Like, Lisbon should have some tourism, right? Plus two. Uh, because of that. Wow. Uh, you go here and finish that road. 
You we are probably done exploring. Yep. Uh, head home then. You're also done exploring. Uh, opera house done. Build a grand temple for even more faith. Uh, opera house done. Culture town. Build a windmill for later. Oh yeah, and you need to look at coal. Oh, policy time though. Yeah, plus four from all sea trade routes. I'm going to go from plus 92 to... Plus 92? Huh? Maybe this counts next time I send the boat out. I thought it would be instant. And yeah, all my uh, nows have, are done discovering the world. Uh, yeah, I have played Civ 4. Played a lot of that as well. So I've played more of Civ 5 nowadays. That's, um, I'm actually of the opinion that Civ 5 is better now. Especially new with now with the new announcement. Um, also, fuck you, Napoleon. <laughs> with the new announcement, I mean with the new uh, expansion with Brave New World. Civ 5 with Gods and Kings already was on par to uh, Civ 4 for me. But uh, Brave New World have, has actually made it better. And, uh, yeah, that's my um, opinion, though. I know a lot of people are still very in much in love with Civ 4, and it is an amazing game. Civ 4 has also has some amazing mods for it, which also make it a lot of fun to do deal with. Like, uh, I've played some Cavemen to Cosmos, and it's a lot of fun. Um, wow, look at this encampment. <laughs> They're completely in the ice. They'll never get out of here. Ever. Amazing. Um, let's see. Let's keep our seas safe. Um, let's put the boat like here. Let's send you back. And scientific theory is done. Now let's go towards electricity. Actually, let's get archaeology. Archaeology, electricity, then think again. Um, and I saw that encampment down here. Should really kill that. I have a boat for that. This <laughs> will blow all, all out of the water. I need someone to get the encampment, like uh, you. And, uh, no problem. Really, they're both both fine games, but well, my book Civ Five is better now, and it's also because of some like basic Civ Five upgrades, like uh, embarking. No more needing to build boats for every unit to send them over the sea, but just send them into the water when you have the appropriate tech. And send them over the ocean when you have the appropriate tech. It's a lot better. Also, the one unit per tile thing is much better than the stacks of death in Civ 5, uh, Civ 4. So that's, uh, that's kind of my reasoning why 5 is better. That's me. Okay, oh, now I'm at 127 gold. Nice. Um, let's see, trade routes wise. Um, well, the way down to here is fine. Could also send this to a Mombasa for even more pressure. Yeah. Never played Civ 3 myself. Uh, no idea how that is. Only started to learn uh, Civ 4 from playing with a friend. I played it uh, in, in some LAN parties and uh, it's a little fun, a lot of fun. Civ 3 actually runs on a netbook? Huh. I have a netbook which I hardly ever use, but maybe when I go to my parents. 
and I tried Shift 4 on that, but it doesn't run on that. <laughs> I guess I could try Shift 3. I've tried um, the Open Shift thing. Um, what's that called again? Not Open Shift, but um, that's just a different name. Um, something open or something. But something like that. Um, amphitheater done. Free Shift. That was it. Yeah. But that's like Shift 2. Uh, that's not really, wasn't really my thing. Uh, yeah, build that Victoria. And yeah, I've also played tons and tons of C4. Like 200 hours at least. But yeah, I have like 900 hours in C5 now. I know enough of C4. But yeah, there's people who played lots more C4 than 5. Mm. Do you need to build something else here? And the big cities start, should start building, yeah, public schools. Even if they're money towns. Um, you'll need a public school as well. You need a public school. You're probably going to stay a science town. Uh, public school. Maybe buy it here because it will help a lot. Although then I can't buy myself some more votes, so let's not do that. Well, it's 18 turns. Maybe I should just put this back on production focus. That's a big change. Yeah, let's go back on production focus for now. Oh yeah. C5, yeah, we can get it cheap on the Steam cell, base C5, but you kind of need Brave New World with that uh, as well. Uh, if you're really short on money, you don't need to buy Gods and Kings, though. Like most of the improvements Gods and Kings has, like the religion, is also in Brave New World. If you, if you just have Brave New World now, uh, base C5 with Brave New World, then uh, you. The only thing you're really missing is the extra civilizations which came with gods and kings. And uh, that's a lot of civilizations, but um, it will save you a lot of money. So, uh, yeah. That's one way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm a poor, poor 31 year old. <laughs> this is also a problem. Got C5, but uh, yeah, it's because it's saved me a lot of cash in the long run. <laughs> I'm not buying other games because I have this. Build them trading posts. Okay, you. Let's make a lot of money. Um. Can't do Tikal. Tokyo. Oh! 33 for Tlatelolco. That's worth it. Definitely. Let's put a boat here. Man, they're pumping out a lot of missionaries. Damn. How's this war going? Uh, doing a thing? It's, it's fine, you're not the first one to type badly on the internet. You're typing better than most. That's, uh, another th that's a good thing. 
better than most 13 year olds as well. <laughs> um, horses to Pakal's in it. Ah, this is where I sold Pakal a whole lot of things. Which I really should do again. Uh, Pakal, buddy. The last time you wanted to buy all the iron and stuff, do you still want to do that? Or horses? I don't have the cash, god damn. Uh, who does have cash and couldn't use it? Like Askia. Askia? Would you want to buy horses? Five for five horses? No? Well, with one iron? Sure. Would you do that same deal again? No? Four horses? Three horses. Or three gold? No. Um, other people. Nebuchadnezzar, you don't have horses. I don't need horses. Five for five? Yes. Nice. And uh, that's how you get a lot of money in Civ 5. <laughs> Dealing away things you don't need. Um. Okay, that is fine. Uh, that's a now. Come back now, now. One forty-six money per turn. Um, you want to give five gold per turn? Sure. <laughs> That's a lot of money for some horses. <laughs> I guess you're right, yeah. Sell your things which you don't need, and that's you. <laughs> that's the way you can get money. And hey, I have coal. I really should start building factories as well. That's another thing I need to look at. Um, first I'll build another public school. Uh, you're a worker which is done. Go towards the coal. That's an barbarian encampment. You go back to Braga. Cargo boat. Uh, 24, 29 for Kyoto. That's a good deal too good to pass up, I think. Hanoi is safer though. This sea here. Is it safe towards Kyoto? Not really, but I have enough nows to keep the shore safe. I think I should do it. Nows are done exploring the world anyway. Yeah. Okay, you go back and heal up. The other now is like you. One here. Uh, heal up. Wasn't there another now incoming? Uh, maybe that's one of the other ones. Yeah, I actually conquered France. I did that last night. Uh, got Paris and well, I left them with two small, <laughs> crappy little towns. But, uh, I conquered them, and hey, there's more coal here. That's seven more coal. Uh, uh, Alexander's expanding again. God damn, Alexander, the motherfucking expander. Uh, as long as I'm on top of him with units, though, I'm fine. And he's usually at war with. Uh, uh, Mongolia anyway. <laughs> and yeah, Japan Japan was that safe what was destroyed in the beginning. Japan was here, but uh Montezuma took care of him. And that all happened before we even knew about uh, Japan. We never met him. Okay, come on game, uh, let me show come on, make <laughs> Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Most weird effect. Uh, okay, I already sent one dude toward the coal. Where's the, this dude? 
No, you go towards this goal. Then. Okay, you go sit around here. Okay. Heal up. Uh, if you sit here, you should keep this bay pretty safe. Uh, 15 turns until the World Congress. Maybe I should see if there's any other quests I could do. City state quest it is. No, I don't want war with him, idiots. Okay. Now do I have an extra thing? Uh, gems? I have two and two exports, huh. Maybe. Oh, and yeah, I think he, he's just got a new profit. You were right. Um, let's see, let's build more Vettorias because we can. Um, let go here first. Oh, and look at the fucking city-states. Come on. And, yeah. Maybe one of the city-states will have a faith uh, thing. I could use the Great Prophet for that. Also, Ramses vs. Montezuma again. Let's have them fight for the years of the game. That's fine for me. Would be even better if Montezuma would, like, make a dent in towards uh, Egypt's lands. Would also be very nice. Archaeology. Oh, and we can start with that. And I get the free tech. I guess I finished Oxford as well. Okay, uh, first great profit. Um, let's see if there's any city states which have a religion tech. Yeah, Quebec wants Armokism. Zurich wants Armokism. Kathmandu and Belgrade also wants Armokism. Mogadishu wants Armokism. Elmati. Almaty is one which is close enough, I guess. Yeah. And Zurich as well. So, send the Great Prophet towards Almaty. And then to Zurich. Sounds like a plan. Okay, free tech from Oxford. Ooh, I sh maybe should have done more things with this, but uh, let's see. Lots of choices. Um... Probably electricity, which I just started researching, or biology, which is also very good. This is better for cash too. Stock exchange and hydro plant. Mm. Could also get rifling or military science, but no. Let's uh, get electricity. Is it a which will give us much more cash than... Let's go towards plastics, which is one of the final science buildings. Yeah, we're going, we're going towards science at this point. Um, that's some nice choices. Also, our antiquity sites. Yeah, I need to start building archaeologists and museums everywhere. Because I have no places to put them in. Um, I should have some um, things done by now. So let's start building some great persons again. Let's look at my slots. Yeah, I have a lot of amphitheater slots and some opera slots. And actually some writing slots here. And Oxford, let's fill these. Writings from different areas and from civilizations other than the city owners. So I need writing works which aren't mine. And these, of course, are... <laughs> I got one from which I stole from France, so that's one. And I can do a swap. 
um, as long as it isn't from the Renaissance. Okay, I have my great work of writing. That's not sell Faust. Let's sell fables from the Renaissance. Swap it for a medieval thing from him. Then put that in the Oxford. And hey, I got some work tourism. Nice. Also, that great prophet, is he safe on the seas? He should be. With all this now is around here as well. I think that'll be fine. Uh, those antiquity sites, that's one here. Uh, that's one here where I just built a mine like two turns ago. Okay, and aluminium, or aluminum, is here as well. Need to get that because there's lots of rivers in my country. Well, actually, there aren't that much. Well, still, aluminum is a nice thing to have. Also, there's more antiquity sites. Also, I should buy a tile here so it there won't be any fucking barbarians spawning here. Uh, I could use another worker or two, I guess. Hmm. So you finish your trading post here. Uh, this one will be do done soon enough. I need a place to start building archaeologists. Uh, I'm guessing this place will be good. What's the place with the best production? I'm still... Uh, it's either science or diplomatic, Kalsko. Uh, I'm going for both uh, at this point. Yeah, I need to buy my city-states as well. I have 2,000 cash. Um, okay, first production. Let's see. Of course, Lisbon has the most production. Porto second, Braga third. Braga! Yeah, that city. How about you? Start pumping out... Archaeologists. Just build a whole lot. And go on production focus for it as well. Um, yeah, that's one small thing about C4. The uh, having multiple great people after the first one for Golden Age. It's weird to set up, but it works. So only needed in a great person victory game or something or a culture victory game. Um, okay, there's a couple of things to do. Like yeah, you are going towards this goal. That's important. Um, were there more workers around here? This one here. Let's have you stay down there. Okay, I'll buy one more worker. I can have that. It's all the cash though. And worked marble near Lisbon? No, it's uh, worked. It's one of the first things I did. It just doesn't really look that way. Um, what else? Oh yeah, quests. Let's see if there's any more gold quests. Like Hanoi. Um, let's give you a little gift. Let's protect as well. Fortunately, you are irrational, so that'll drop soon enough. Uh, any other gold quests? Doesn't look like it. Almaty. But Almaty is friends with him. Could buy that wall, though, for a thousand. Uh, and that was. This Almaty, huh? Hmm. Well, also, I'm giving them uh, the religion. So 500 will probably be enough. Especially if I finish the quest with the Great Prophet. And uh, I could also do a trade route towards them. And how many, many turns for this? F 18 turns. Okay, let's save my money for that. 
Once a great profit is in, and a trade bout is in, I will probably already have them. Then I give him 500 cash, and I'll be my buddy forever. Uh, are that all the money quests? Unfortunately, uh, I could spend on one of these, like Mombasa. Um, uh, you're already Egypt's friends with 51 needed. That's a shame. Could send a spy there maybe one day. Uh, one of these as a friend would be nice. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, get tribute from Malacca. I'm going to protect you all. Not gonna get a great engineer anytime soon. Mogadishu also wants faith. Oh. I will have the largest faith crow so far. Nice. Um, then I'll probably be friends with Mogadishu sooner enough with 27 turns. I'd rather save my money for that as well. Hmm. No, I don't see any real reason to buy one of the city states up right now. Uh, maybe for a little happiness bonus of Hong Kong, of Malacca, the uh, porcelain or the jewelry. No, I'd rather save it. And uh, all the things. Oh, come on. <sighs> mm, actually, C4 is more in, in more complex if you ask me. Took me a whole time to figure out how the whole great person dealio went and Yeah, there's other things with Civ 5 as well, like the fact that um yeah that's workers together. Uh you can buy always buy things. In Civ 4 you can buy things, but you need like severe policies late in the game to buy stuff. You also have slavery, which you can use to rush things, but that's also pretty bad. You shouldn't see lose population population is very important and uh, yeah being able to like buy a settler if you, you, you save a lot of money in the beginning is another really nice thing in Civ 5 very nice even okay yeah we're going to sell you towards Belgrade I think oh no not Belgrade uh, Almaty Almaty or <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no idea how you really pronounce that. Okay, you worker, go towards this. <laughs> bullshit amount of gold. <laughs> That's an interesting way to say bullshit. <laughs> um, let's buy this tile. Alma Ati. All my 80. All matey. Uh, you stay here and look around. Very funny. Hey, uh, oh, Broski. Multiple centuries want copper. I don't have that yet. Well, maybe one of the city states has copper, like Vancouver does. Huh, now it might be worth getting them, although they have 72 points with that bastard. Kathmandu, 176, nope. Anyone else has copper? Nope. Um, Vancouver. 72 influence. That's a lot of cash. Oh, they, they also want copper. They don't have it. Hmm, so, adding copper to my trade network would help with these things. 
Who has copper then? Any of these fucking city states? Nope. Um, Ramses, but he only has one. That would be expensive. And uh, doing fine. Playing sibs. And come on, game. Not much going on war-wise though at the moment, just building up my country and getting towards science. Um, yeah, sure, open borders. Oh, could get starting on uh, uh, Broadway. I think Broadway was already built. But broadcast towers work. Bacallus Industrial now. Uh, near modern, I think. A great musician. Make your great work. Su Sakura Sakuragari. Sure. Some Japanese music, <laughs> music thing, <laughs> which I don't know. You can, oh, I think <laughs> you're trying to say that I should kill them all and leave them two cities in the snow. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, weren't you like going towards Almaty? Do you have to ask me questions every time? Come on. <laughs> I'm saying you should, but you should. I could. <laughs> yeah, Venice is. Special. Venice is uh, like for pro players. And hey, there's incense here in another antiquity site. You need those museums though. Don't have the slots. God damn. Hmm. Uh, Askia's industrial. Even Askia's industrial now. to Ramses and it's you. Oh yeah, you were going to build a thing here in Quebec. Like here or here? Not here then. Um, more trading posts. Keep that profit safe. Build a mine to get that aluminum. Yeah, Venice is special. Special like that. Genghis Khan against Pakal. <laughs> Everyone's kicking Pakal now he's down. Oh boy. He'll have to go to two lands to even get there though, so I don't think this is happening anytime soon. Although he could attack from Otra, but doubt it. So why do I have a site here? Am I stealing from Palenque? Oh shit, that spy which I sent to Kyoto. I should have checked if it was better science stealing there. Okay, uh, good night, um, Halloween. Okay, now check Kyoto, goddammit. Spy must have been. might have been researching shit. Oh, that's why there's a. Why the hell is there an archer there? Do I still have an archer on fucking Auto Explore? How about you go home? 
Um, okay, spies. Mm, 32 turns from Kyoto. Okay, that's better though than Technokititlan. Um, Gandhi is still pretty new happy in C5. That's uh, a legacy bug <laughs> or something. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's built the Scarcher. The Scout Archer. Wow. He's been alive for a long, long time. Um, okay. I had an idea for a trade route with Almaty to get quests there. Here we go, Almaty. That should help with them. Nine turns until the Congress. You built a Victoria. Um, what Congress style? Uh, like here. Need 35 to beat them. And that's uh, Vancouver. Let's see if I can get that um, copper first. Would help a lot with a lot of city states. So, what do you want for that copper? A lot of things. I'm banning silver. <laughs> Wouldn't that be enough? Come on. Uh, silver and gems. I, I can take the hit though. Banning silver. Is that a thing which is bad for me? Do I have silver? Yes, I do. I don't really want to ban silver. Mm. Yeah, that was the way it was in Civ 1. They've kept that bug in. Because it's cool that <laughs> Gandhi nukes everyone. Um, God damn it, should I do this for the copper. It's two city-states which have a quest for that. That's a lot of cash and I'll ban silver for myself. Where do I have silver anyway? It's one tile near Paris. I can take the hit on it. And maybe it won't go through anyway, but I don't want to vote for that myself. How long until maybe some other deals go through? Um... Let's see, because if I deal with him, he wants the silver gems or crab. <clears> hmm, <throat> how about if I... Wait a minute. Copper. How about I... Don't do this. Give you crab instead. Propose? No. Maybe some money with this. Banning furs is something which I could do. I don't think I have furs. Let's take a look at that. Um, does he have furs? Um, he has furs, okay, so that's against him. So he probably won't want that. Uh, or maybe I could do that on a vote. Like... Uh, vote nay for it. That's a lot of things. I'll probably get the gems back. Because the Victorias. 20 gold and 1 per turn. Maybe if I give him 5 gold per turn, then I won't even need to do this. But You know what? I think this is fine. Banning Nay against first is something he wants. Yeah. I don't care about. Let's do this. Nice. So now I have the copper. Let's wait one turn so it'll show with all the city state quests. <laughs> and yeah, he was asking for silver and to ban it, the bastard. Okay, now I should have done a couple of these quests. Come on, game. 
new beer as well. I guess I'll do that next round. Come on, game. Taking a lot of time to process. Maybe for uh, online games or for these streaming games I should do uh, not large map but standard maps instead. Okay, you, you're going home. You've done your job. When you get home you're probably getting disbanded. Although... Okay, we'll see. You have those upgrades. Um, actually, don't do that. Do I wait to turn? Uh, public school done. Build a museum. And then a stock exchange. And uh, let's see. Yeah, copper to your trade network. Copper to your trade network. Almaty want the trade route. Oh, they got the trade route and they're happy now. And two cities got the uh, Wheel of the King Day. Okay, um, now let's take a look at diplomacy again. Like here, yeah, there's a couple which like me already. Vancouver. Uh, Mombasa, how much do I need for you? 50. Though Egypt is my ally, I'm fine probably with that. Kathmandu, under 35. Mombasa is a better target then. Um, Kiev. Oh, I should really get that. He has no friends yet. Kiev is mine now. Where the hell is Kiev anyway? Oh, that's behind him. Okay. Don't care. Uh, Almaty, you're getting the religion soon enough. 46 needed to pass. 13 turns until this. You know what? Let's give you 500 anyway. Need one more. Well, the <coughs> great profit is close. So that's fine. That'll all fix itself. Um, anyone, anyone, anyone with a gold quest? No. Could take Mombasa. Uh, actually, no, I couldn't because it's only 30 influence and I need 50. So, save the money. At least I should have some more votes in the World Congress now. You pronounced hundred but blah blah blah, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were Russian. I did. <laughs> Almaty. That's what this is. Was it Almaty? Someone else said. And I'm going to get the beer while the game does the thing. Okay. Back again. Oh wow, it's still processing. Seriously? <laughs> really should think about doing standard maps next time. Okay, first archaeologist. Um, there was one sort of near Paris, but not soon enough. Um, there's like two near Porto. Which I could turn into tiles, which would give a lot of culture. Down here. Funchal. Could reach this. Uh, probably best to go overseas first though. Like here. Or even further away. Uh, here's another one as well. This one is actually pretty close.
Um, are any others I can steal from other ships? Like I doubt France will have the money for it. Uh, like this one here. Before and this one. Uh, you don't can reach this one. What we're going to buy that tile right now. Um, is this? Holy fuck! This is Mount Kalash. I was sitting on the border of a motherfucking natural wonder, and I didn't even notice. And fucking Alexander almost had it. Okay, well anyway, let's get here because he's going to be angry now anyway. I hope he doesn't have that yet. Ah, Mr. Great Prophet. Um, windmill done. You are a culture town, so museum. Uh, you're going to ask something next turn and it's answer is museum. Uh, you're going to ask for the museum as well. Can I like purchase a factory here yet? No. I don't have the money for it anyway. Yeah, that's a good enough reason to turn on it's a bad resources. I only have the resource icons but yield icons. Would have shown that's easy enough. So I could turn on keep trade routes on. Huh. This is my trade route. You know what? Let's keep that on. That's nice to see. Um, and that's for if you bake in your settler. Yield icons is just too annoying to see. Nah, I'd uh, rather play without that. Okay. Aztecs have gone to uh, gone into order. And we got first somehow and got we love the king day. Okay. So let's open my beer. Got uh, Bavaria. One of the better and cheaper Dutch beers, but it is good. Yeah. Rather have a Bavaria than an Amstel or whatever. Even better than a Heineken, probably. Uh, Askia has become a nuisance. Nah. Although we don't really care about Askia. At all. You know what? Sure, let's help you with Askia. I'm not going to fight against him myself. He's at the other side of the world. Uh, some deal stopped though, but we can probably deal with that. Uh, yeah, you didn't like that, huh? We might be getting to war with him. He covered lands that you currently own. Yeah. How is he war-wise? He is the best in the world as well. Also, hey, I'm first quality now. Nice. So, I'm really good in going towards a science victory. And, well, if uh, Alexander declares, declares war on me, then I should take him out. <laughs> um, okay, got the factory now. Uh, or it got some coal at least. Um, let's go back to making more trading posts. And hey, another free winged hussar. Let's send you towards the north. Yeah, burning some of the cities sounds like a c nice idea. Okay, great profit. Do your thing. Why do you ask for attention? I don't see anyone near here. Don't think I have war yet. Right. 
Oh, oh yeah, Askia. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. And I guess one of you is Askia. No? Songhai, yeah, you're Askia. Well, let's help you then. Uh, let's send these dudes to the front. Yeah, burning some of these cities would be a good idea. Um, opera house down. Oh, the Louvre. We should build that. Um, okay, this town though, this is a gold focus. Don't grow stock exchange at museum anyway. Down. Um, you keep building those archaeologists. Um, Functional is science thing. This is another science town. Yeah, let's not build units here. Let's keep this on science focus. This is why I'm winning with science. Um, you though, forget about the stock exchange. Start building the Louvre. The Louvre. Um. Okay. And maybe a road towards Pergamon uh, already as well. Because it's going to take ages to get there. And. Let's try and get this one before the war breaks out. Oh, well, there's someone on there, on there already. Well. Then let's do this one. Should make tiles out of them, so Leon will have some extra culture. Same here. <laughs> the lever. Um. One of you, dude. Ah, you're almost done. Good. And you're going to build a road towards Pedagamon, because all this jungle will take ages to get through. Um. The deal with Askia has ended. Government units. Um, let's see. Do some deals. Sell some things. Not not with Alexander. You know what? Let's sell some stuff to Genghis Khan because he is the biggest enemy of Alexander. Don't have much though. You want horses? Don't have cash. Never mind. Um. Other peeps then. Not Montezuma. But Pakal doesn't have cash. Babylon. No. Yeah, four horses is nothing. Although he doesn't have horses. I don't really need horses. You're not gonna get them for free. No. Uh, how about four for four? No. Two for four. Forget it. Um, not going to deal with Alexander. I doubt Ramses will want to buy more horses. Like a tree? Oh, okay. Well, let's keep one horsey for myself. Fine. Um, let's start building units, though. Braga, I actually back need back to unit production. Lisbon really should try to live. Porto is also unit building town. Let's have you have a factory as well. Mm. Do I really need the archaeologists that bad? Not really. Okay, you know what? Build a factory. And let's build the archaeologist somewhere else. Like Coimbra. Yeah. It'll take longer. And you're going to build all the archaeologists you will ever need. Because you have a university anyway. Just keep building them. Braga though. Three turns. Well, 
let's start melding units with you. Like a couple of Gatling guns. Or boats. Can I do something to him by boat? There's a couple of towns there. Uh, Alicarnassus would be very hard to get by boat. Varsal's pit. Mykene would be easy to get by boat. Roads. Sorta. Um, having some boats will probably be good for the war. Some frigates, some nows. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Um, it would also be nice if this place has a seaport, and I think it has. Do you have seaport? You have a fort, you have a lighthouse. Probably need a harbor to build a seaport. Um, factory to make units faster. Um, I'll probably buy a factory here. Yeah. Start building frigates. Because they wreck cities. They're super mobile transport uh, artilleries or cannons. You just can only go on water. Um, yeah, next turn I'll have 1050 cash and I'll buy a factory here and they'll build it really fast. By the way, this can go. Oops. Um. Paris is big enough as well. Doesn't have the barracks though, but that's fixed in two turns. Doesn't have a factory either yet. Also build boats. But I need something for ground units as well. Choices, choices, choices. Um, build some, build some Gatling guns anyway. Racks is enough. Then Porto. <sighs> screw the aqueduct. Screw the factory. It really depends. Having a factory would be so nice to build units here. Make it so much faster. Are you still on production focus? Yes, you are. And Lisbon. Yeah, just going to try to Louvre. It's uh, worth it for the great four slots of great works of art, at least. And it'll give me some offensive culture, some tourism, which I'll need for the end game to st not get in, uh, give uh, the culture victory away towards Egypt. How about production focus here though? That's an idea. Do I really need <laughs> those archaeologists? Yes I do. Um, Good. Orleans should stay on culture focus. Troy, yeah, build that. Leon, halfway done with this. Okay, I think we'll have to just make do. I have enough units standing around here anyway, especially if I upgrade them. How far am I from rifling, by the way? Not having that would be nice. Um, let's get rifling first. Also, having refrigeration, having submarines, would completely destroy Alexander. Uh, let's get rifling first, and then we'll think about the things. Okay, that was a little bit of a thinking turn. 
Sorry that it took that long, but uh, that's what happens when you need to get ready for war. Because yeah, it seems kind of inevitable. He really hates my guts. I've wronged him, or at least he thinks that in the World Congress as well. He probably thinks my army is weak. So he'll have a very tough time taking me on. Trade route blundered, god damn it. Uh, sure. Which trade route? Askia, Lisbon and Kyoto. Motherfucker! He's dead. Good. Ah, there goes one of my fucking trade boats. And a lot of cash. Um, you were the one building a road towards Pergamon. Any other fucking Oscar units here? I don't think so. Uh, you go back here. You go back and heal. And you... Oh, actually, you need an escort. You need to go to Zurich. Go here first. And you'll be the escort. Uh, my boss is no longer friends. Ask you to plunder the thing. The Force Congress of Thebes will do things. My Golden Age is ended. Oh, the Golden Age ending also changed my gold thing well as well. I kinda need a new trade boat. Okay, trade boats are more important than archaeologists. So, let's move that up and build that from here. Also, production focus. This is war. Still making 365 signs. Okay, you wait. You make the dig. And maybe I should denounce him as well. Because I know it's coming. He hates me anyway. In relation is it with Vancouver. Get over it. Yeah, peace with Almaty, industrial era. Whew. Babylon is very bar far behind. He's only now getting into the, the industrial era. Oh, you've built another Victoria. Nice. Um, well, that doesn't even have resources. Oh, it actually does. It has wheels. So let's build wheels. Like uh, here. You build a trading post. You watch out. You are the escort for the Great Prophet. Public school done down here. Yeah, this is the one where I told I didn't want to do things. Build units, huh? That has changed. <laughs> Um Science Town now already as well. Guy needs to grow bigger for science. Hmm, build a windmill factory and make this a unit building town anyway. Build a circus or stoneworks. Well, let's at least build a stoneworks. So that will give extra happiness as well. Uh, it's you're not doing much by sea, so you're not getting a lighthouse. Seaport, nether, windmill. You can go to science focus. 
Just more 37 more science. You want to build a factory and windmill anyway. I uh, have enough coal to get good production. Okay, also in Braga, boat building town, we're buying a factory. Let's click away these um, citizens which is out have a job. They can go into the factory now. Nice. So they build a frigate in four turns. Policy wise, I could finish exploration which gives me a great admiral. Eh, fuck great admirals. And oh yeah, it gives me sight on all the hidden antiquity sites, which I don't really need. Um, no, it's probably better if I go maybe for honor for this thing for more culture or rationalism or uh, I can't do the ideology yet or patronage oh one level of patronage will cause influence to drop 25% slower yeah yeah, one level of patronage is definitely worth it, since I'm trying to make some city-state friends. Yeah. Definitely. Especially since I'm friends with a couple already. Like Vancouver. How the hell are you? Him again. I need three points for you. Where was Vancouver? God damn it, he bought him off. And four turns left. And I'm not making 250 cash in four turns. Damn. My money sure has dropped already. And hey, it's the archer, the, sci the scout which lived forever. I really should upgrade him if I had the money. He would turn into a, a concert bowman, a crossbowman, and then a Gatling gun. Hmm. What should I do with this little this idiot? He's kinda useless now. Could sell them for more cash per turn. But he has those two upgrades. But I really spend uh, more money on factories um, let's sell him yeah give 10 gold and more gold per turn you've lived forever scout you've done a great job really but uh, I have the entire world now on map so uh, you can retire that's a bit more gold per turn. That's worth it. Let's get made peace with Vancouver. No longer friends with Mombasa, huh? Yeah, you're still heading towards Zurich. Wait a turn. Although you probably will go here. Ah, good enough. Choose archaeology. And yeah, I'm going to change this into a tile. It's an ancient era thing. So it will give a lot of culture. Yeah. For the long run, you heal up. Maybe I should send some of these extra nows back towards the other side. Because do I need all the nows here? Like you, you could sit here. This space is safe enough. Though no, it's not. No, you need to go back. 
Uh, you you are needed to keep this Marine free. You aren't that needed though. Okay, you go this way. Um, you are needed to keep this barbarian free. So many triremes I still have there. So do you I really need to keep Milan barbarian free? Don't think so. Let's sell this trireme. And this one. Hmm, could probably do without as well. Yeah. Let's sell two of these bastards so I have more money. And actually, let's switch for these. This one. Luck has declared one link to the Pakal. Someone else has. Egypt has autocracy? Wall. I've never seen that happen. They're being very warlike, so I guess it makes sense. Hmm. Okay, um, you are going to go back. You are going to keep this place safe. Cargo boat. Uh, I think I already did the trade towards to route Almaty. Yeah. Um, Zurich also wants trade routes. And faith. Oh, Zurich actually doesn't want the great prophet or the faith. Okay, uh, great prophet needs to go back. But the cargo ship go towards Zurich. Okay, frigates go against land units. And let's make a fleet of boats here. Cargo boat, uh, now... Okay, we need to think about the Great Prophet again. Which of you city-states want religion? Ragusa. Where the hell is Ragusa? Oops, misclick. Ragusa is all the way behind the ocean. That's a bad choice. Let's start from the top. Quebec. Where the hell is Quebec? Uh, it's all the way here. Um, got van doen then. Even though, yeah, no, that's another one of his. Colombo, Lagusa, Brussels. It's all the way behind here. And Genoa. These dudes all want my religion, huh? Um, how many uses does the Great Prophet still have left? Three. So I could send them towards there. Uh, Genoa, Ragusa, and Brussels. Yeah. What's earlier? Uh, this is like 12 turns. This is like 23 turns. Okay, then you go towards Ragusa. Hope you'll be safe. And you go and protect him. He will save. What is his plan to get there? You'll cross the desert to get there. Okay, then you, you'll you probably be safe from next turn on. Um, okay, you... Hmm. Did I? Well, I never even got these bananas and I don't have the cash to get them now, of course. Uh, you're the one which is going to build the road here. Cargo boat. Are there still anyone near which have a quest for trade? Malacca, Mogadishu, Belgrade, Kathmandu, uh, Vancouver, um, 
Zurich. Zurich. Did I send one to Zurich yet? Yes. Yeah, I did. Get back. What's we can, What can he reach? Mombasa. Um, Kathmandu. No. Belgrade. He can actually reach Belgrade. Well, that's one of his. Valletta, maybe. No. Brussels. No. Hmm. Vancouver. I need to buy those three points in Vancouver, but I don't have the cash. Now I need to work on cash, I guess. Like that loco. That loco it is. Uh, you're the one getting sold. Also, I kind of need to take a shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a break, take my time, and I'll see you guys in like five or ten minutes. I'll turn off the stream.